All right. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, on this problem, it gets a little bit difficult. Now, and the important thing with this one is, again, we want to rearrange these, right? The same thing, guys, is 3 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 3, right? So as long as you're multiplying, again, what I like to do is I like to arrange these with the same problem. 36 over 4 times x cubed divided by x to the seventh, and then y to the negative second divided by y so cubed. Can switch around? Yeah, absolutely. Just oh. like this, you can switch these around. Yeah. You cannot use the rules of exponents with, when they don't have the same base. They have to have the same base. X is with X's, Y is with Y's. So now, with 36 divided by 4, does 4 divide into 36 this time? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it goes in there 9 times. Now again, I'm just going to write it as a fraction. We know that it goes in there 9 times, but I want to write it as 9 over 1, so I know it's in the numerator and what's in the, I know that 9's in the numerator. Yes? I thought 4 was attached to Y3. It's not attached, no. It's multiplied by it. Same thing. 3 times 2 times 1 is the same thing as 2 times 3 times 1. It doesn't matter how you multiply them, as long as they're still multiplied. OK? Um, so now, x cubed divided by x to the fourth is x to the 3 minus 7. And here I have y to the negative second minus 3. So now I have 9 over 1. Now, what is x to the negative third minus 7? x to the negative fourth. And then this is negative 2 minus negative 3 is x to the negative fifth. Now, using our negative rules of exponents, where should those powers be? In the numerator or the denominator? If right now they're, kind of, right now they're in the numerator. So to make them positive, I have to rewrite them in the Denominator. Oh, yeah, it's a y. Thank you. Negative 2 minus 3. If you owe me $2 and you borrow three more dollars, you owe me $5 now. Yes? Why is it now in fraction line lined up with 9 over 1? Huh? Basically, these, when I do this, these are all in the numerator. When you're subtracting them, they're in the numerator. Okay. So therefore, they're still in the numerator. I'm just putting a, one, I'm putting a 1 under there just so you know what's in the denominator. But now when I subtract them, just give me a second, now that they're negative, you put them in the denominator and make them positive, right? Using your oh, negative okay. exponents. Yes? Never mind. That was my OK. Because we want to write them as positive exponents, not as negative. Oh, I have a question. I have a question. Yes. What if it was 9? 